hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome i hope you all are doing well so today's video is a diy lace closure wig and i'm going to be making this lace closure using a coily hair bundle and the hair i'm using today it's a human hair curly human hair okay so with that said let's go straight into the video so for the cap I'm using today, this is also a DIY cap, although I didn't uh, record the video of me making the, the cap, but I'll put the link to my other video on showing you guys how to make a lace closure, uh, sorry, how to make a frontal wig cap for crochet braid or for sewing. So be sure to check that video out for a guide on how to make your own DIY wig cap for crochet braid or for a sewing with a lace frontal or closure. So be sure to check that video out. Okay, so here is the hair I'm using today. It's a kinky, coily um, hair. So to start, I'm going ahead to take a scissors and cut the hair from the web. So since I'm using the hair bundle, I'm gonna have to cut it. <laughs> okay, so after cutting the hair from the web, you wanna go ahead, for the first step, you wanna go ahead and uh, run your fingers through the hair as I'm doing in this video to remove the super short hair that are not going to be useful so just take those and throw it away so for the second step you want to take one of those coily hair right here take one of those coily hair so as you can see the root is thicker than the tip of the hair so to even it out a bit you want to take one of the, co the coily hair and run your fingers through it and pull out the the short hair from it okay it's just to even out the uh, the hair a bit so the ones you're pulling out now, you're going to use those for the baby hair. So just pull it out and set it aside. Okay. And again, don't comb the hair. Just run your fingers straight to separate the coils a bit. All right. So once that is done, you want to go ahead and fold the, the curly hair over. So you want to make sure to have one long end and one short end. Okay. Just like this. Okay. So go ahead and fold it over. Okay, so I went ahead and did this side of the wig off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step now. So to start, you want to take the needle, pass it through the lace, just like that. So next, you want to hook two strands of hair. Hook two strands of hair like that and next pass it through the lace. So once you pass it through the lace, you want to bring the hair right in the middle of the needle, just like this. So if you leave it on the tip, that will break the hair. So you want to bring it to the middle like that. So next, you want to take the needle, wrap it around the hair like that, and rotate it upside down. So next, you want to pass it through the loop. And remember, don't leave the hair on the tip of the needle. It will split the hair into two. And you, you're gonna end up uh, redoing it. So just make sure the hair is in the middle of the needle like this. So once you have that next, you wanna go ahead and pull it through. Okay, got it? All right, I'm gonna show you one more time. So to start, all right guys, so to start, you wanna take your needle, pass it through the lace. Let me do on this side, pass it through the lace just like this okay so next you want to go ahead and hook two strands of hair okay so next pass it through the lace and again you want to take the needle and wrap it around the hair and rotate it upside down like that so next pass it through the loop so once you pass it through the loop before you pull on the hair before you pull the the rest of the hair through the loop you want to bring it bring the hair in the middle of the needle like this so this will prevent it from breaking if you leave the hair in the, on the tip of the needle it will split it into two and you're going to end up running that very strand so you want to bring it to the middle like this so once you have it in the middle the next step is to pull it through the loop completely just like that so that's how you tie the knot okay so if this is your first time learning how to make a lace closure using the ventilating needle i would advise you not to start with a expensive human hair it would be better to start with a synthetic hair better to practice with uh, a synthetic hair or a super 
uh, human hair. So you practice with that and learn exactly how to use the ventilator needle properly before going ahead to use expensive human hair. And also you can use the sickle option, which is using the, the tiny large hook to create the lace closure. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Go ahead and watch my other video with the red uh, crochet wig, red frontal crochet wig. Go ahead and watch that video to learn how to create a lace frontal or a lace closure using the large uh, hook to create it. Okay, so this is what's left of the hair bundle and I'm going to use this remaining one to finish the, uh, the lace closure. And again, I'm going to show you guys the process. So once you cut the hair from the weft, so you want to go ahead and remove the first layer of the short uh, hair. Those are not going to be used for. So once you remove those, the next step is to remove the second layer of the short hair. As you can see right here, you want to hold it and pull out the short one. So the one you're pulling out now, you want to go ahead and set those aside. You're going to be using these short ones to create the baby hair once you're done creating the, uh, the closure. So first you want to focus on making the closure, then after you can create the baby hair. So just go ahead and set those short ones aside. And again, I'm going to show you one more time, pass the crochet, the ventilating needle through the lace Again, you want to hold two strands of hair and pass it through the lace. So once you pass it through the lace, you want to use the ventilator needle and wrap it around the hair. So after wrapping it around, you want to flip it upside down and pull it through the loop. Okay, just like that. So next, you want to go ahead and pass the whole hair through the loop. So before you pass the hair through the loop, you want to make sure to bring the hair to the middle of the ventilated needle. If you leave it on the hook on the tip of the ventilated needle, it will break the hair into two if you're not careful. Okay, so once you're done creating the lace closure, the next step is to create the hairline. So for me, what I did, I left uh, half an inch space all the way around. So I just focused on creating the lace closure using two strands of hair. So for the hairline, you're only going to be uh, using one strand of hair. Okay, so only one strand of hair to create the natural looking hairline. So I've already went ahead and did the uh, sum off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next step to create the natural looking hairline, as you can see right here. So again, showing you guys what's left of the bundle. So this is what's left of the bundle right here. Okay, so to create the hairline, to create the natural looking hairline, you want to take a picture of your client's hairline or a picture of your hairline if you're doing it for yourself and uh, create the hairline according, according to that. So, and again, you want to create the hairline using only one strand of hair and using the same technique. Pass the, uh, the ventilator needle through the lace and next you want to hook one strand of hair, pass it through the lace, using the ventilator needle, hook the hair and pass it through the loop just like that. Okay, so now that I'm done with the lace closure, the next step now is to sew down the rest of the hair bundles and this part is very easy and quick and also I'm going to be using the fold over method. I'm not going to be cutting the hair as I sew it down. So the fold over method is really good. It helps to prevent uh, shedding. If you cut the weft as you sew, you're going to experience a lot of shedding.
Okay, so to prevent the fold over part from being bulky, so what you want to do, what I always do, I take my thumb and place it on that folded part. So I make sure to press it down. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. So before I pull on the tray to tighten it, I just put my thumb down and press that very part down. So that helps to flatten the spot while I pull on the tray to secure it in place. Okay, so just do that and the fold over part will be flat and won't be bulky. All right, so that's all I did for the fold over method. So this is the last part right here of the um, sewing. And that's the rest of the bundles. That's the second bundle right there. And again, I only use one bundle for the lace closure. Okay, so now that everything is done, so you can see the hair is puffy, too puffy for my liking. So I'm going to be reducing the size of the hair. So to do that, I'm going to take a water and I'm going to spray that on the hair. Okay, um, spraying that on the hair tip and the roots of the hair. So next, I'm going to go ahead and work that into the hair. So next, I'm going in with oil and I'm applying that on the hair because the hair feels a bit too dry. So I'm just applying it on the hair. So next, I'm going to go ahead and use a detangling brush and detangle the hair. And I'm starting from the tip of the hair. So you want to start detangling the hair from the tip of the hair and walk your way towards the roots. Okay. So now that that is done, I'm going in with a coily mousse and I'm going to use that to define the coils. Okay, and I did this session by session. As you can see, the coils are popping. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to repeat the same thing on the lace closure. So I'm going to start by spraying water on the lace closure, on the hair on the lace closure. And then I'm going to go ahead and separate the hair and walk, uh, do it session by session. All right, so right here, I'm going ahead to make a session. And since I've already sprayed water on the hair, I will also apply oil on the hair after spraying the water so the next step i'm gonna after making the session i'm gonna take the curly mousse and apply it on the hair next i'm gonna take the detangling brush and uh, i'm gonna repeat the same thing i'm gonna start from the root from the tip of the hair and walk my way towards the roots of the hair okay you want to be gentle and use a detangling brush don't use comb just use a detangling brush to detangle the hair and again i'm gonna brush that session by session so you can see the cores are popping <laughs> oh man i love it okay let me not be too excited yet <laughs> all right so as you can see by doing that that reduced the the volume of the hair so again i'm going to make another session and repeat the same thing Okay, so here is the final result of the DIY lace closure wig and using a coily hair bundles. <laughs> and I love it. I love the outcome of the closure. And I hope you guys do too. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And also, this is an 8 by 6 um lace closure as you can see this is the dimension this is the measurement from the crown to the front is six inches then across is eight inches 
so you can see right here yep all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for popping by today and thank you so much for subscribing and uh i'll see you in my next one